Well, hello everyone and welcome back to a play-by-play -play of your favorites, the best sellers from the previous month. And if you've never seen one of these before, there are some reasons why I do this every month without fail. The main reason is to update you on all the stuff that clearly the majority of you favored. I may have some updates on sold out items, maybe a better option, some care info. It's a great way for me to not just share it with you once, but to have some follow up. So today's version is a little bit different because I will start with the overall top 10. I will break out into categories, top five in accessories and lifestyle type products. But this month is different because we are coming off the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And surprisingly, most of the overall top 10, in fact, most of the viewer favorites were not from the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I know there's some curiosity about what the top sellers were. And I will say that it did very well this year. And it was interesting to see what made the top 10 overall bestsellers for Nordstrom. So keep watching, I'll give you all that information and I have a few insider tips on some online shopping that you are not going to want to miss. Let's start with the overall top 10. I'm not that surprised that the number one bestseller from July was this knit lightweight two-piece set from Amazon. I have it in the shade Apricot, which is essentially beige with some black trimming and I love it. It is absolutely something you can wear now. You can absolutely wear it later. I am looking forward to pairing the pants with just like a simple black tank or black tee or maybe a black sweater if sweater weather ever shows its face around here. I did just place an order for a second option in black. A lot of you got that one as well. And I've heard from many of you that you got the deep green and love it. I've talked about it a lot over the last few weeks. So I think that's all I need to say about that, but that was a really, really good find. Okay, number two is an oldie and a goodie. I first introduced this to you years ago. It's from Amazon, one of their house brands. It's their cozy knit tiered tank style. I'd say more of a midi dress than a maxi dress, but it's a good length. And they discontinued it for about a year or two. They brought it back, they rebranded it, and I am so happy because it is absolutely cozy and easy to wear. And there's something magical about this. I've heard back from a lot of you that it's not just me. It makes you look really good. The one thing I wanna remind you is to size down one. I wear it in an extra small and I have, I think, three colors now, green, blue, and gray. Love them all. The only thing it doesn't have is pockets, but when you put it on, and you see how good it makes you look, you won't mind that it doesn't have pockets. Number three on the overall top 10, an absolute standout for me as well. This is probably the most used thing in my house. It's this foldable steamer, and there you go, folds very easily. This just pops off for travel. A lot of you have been asking me for a steamer tutorial. It's just like ironing, except you do it up and down. So put the garment on a hanger, hang it on a doorknob, on a dresser, a rack, whatever you can hang it on, turn this on, and then you touch it to the fabric. Once the steam comes out, and it, you push, in this case, you have to push the button to make the steam come out. This one's a little hot because I just ironed, steamed this, but you just, you know, go back and forth, just like an iron. You can touch the fabric, I highly recommend it. The cool thing about this one though, is that unlike most steamers, you can also use it horizontally. Same idea. So like if you have something on an ironing board, you can use this to steam it as well, or like sheets on a bed, if you're into that. So that is the very basic tutorial on how to use a steamer. It basically works just like an iron, but a lot faster. Number four is this linen two-piece set. I love that you love sets as much as I do. I just think it's easy. You don't have to think about what do I wear this top with? You wear it with the pants that come with it. I just, I think that's genius. I also like that you are basically getting two pieces for the price of one because you can wear each piece separately if you would like. So I love this linen two piece set. Absolutely have weeks more of wearing linen. I am aware that a lot of us feel like you need to stop wearing linen after Labor Day. and I'm, I'm like 50-50 on that because we're still gonna be in the 90s here in Texas. I just generally phase out my linen by October 1st and I try to wear it in more fall tones, navies, muted tones. That's, I have my fall linen and I have my summer linen. This set I personally have in navy, so I can keep wearing it for a while. I'd say it runs true to size. I have the set in a size small. Isn't it interesting that Amazon is most of the top 10 and none of these were actually in prime days. These are just things that y'all bought throughout the course of July. So number five, in the, oh, hello, sunshine. Number 
it's golden hour as I'm filming this and everything just turned gold. It's kind of pretty. Let's take a moment. Okay, number five is a jumpsuit I shared fairly late in the month and I didn't find this on my own. My friend Sarah, who I mentioned and didn't put a link in the description box until later, so let me fix this. My friend Sarah, known on Instagram as hot and humid and it's spelled H-A-U-T-E and humid. She's over on Instagram. She was the one that first shared this. I saw it on her. She looks amazing in it. I'm like, I need it. Sarah is five foot nine. I am not. <laughs> if I do this, I'm five foot four. It works for me. It doesn't drag on the ground. I can wear flats with it. It works for her. She can wear it with flats, obviously, and even with a little bit of a heel. So it works for a lot of different heights and a lot of different body types. It is bra friendly, which a lot of you mentioned was the selling point for you. Because there's no fasteners, there's no buttons or zip or anything like that, it is super easy to take it down to go to the bathroom. If you're not a jumpsuit person, you're just not gonna be a jumpsuit person, but it's really not any different than pulling your pants down. I mean, you're in a bra, you're not completely naked, but if it's, if pulling it all down is a turnoff, I get it, I understand. I am looking forward to styling this for you soon uh, for fall or cooler temperatures. I'm just waiting for a break in the weather myself, or I might just crank up the air conditioning, turn on a fan and film it anyway. But in the meantime, so many of you have said you love it and I should also add it has pockets, which is really nice. Number six, another Amazon find. This is not sponsored by Amazon, but apparently we all are big fans of Amazon. It's this, what I'm calling elastic waist maxi dress. I like how the elastic makes it a little more fitted, but it's not crazy binding and tight. It's very wearable elastic. I think it really accentuates a lot of shapes in a very pleasing way, both to the eye and to the wearer. I love it in the bright pink, but of course with all things Amazon, it comes in a million other colors and pretty sure this one has pockets as well. Number seven on the overall top 10 of your favorites from last month are not from Amazon, they're from Walmart. There are a few sizes left. This is the Barely There sandal. They initially had this in this black and then a nude beige tone. The beige is gone. There are, I think as of filming this, like five or six out of the full range of sizes left. They are starting to phase in their fall shoe collection. More and more is coming. I'll pop in a collage of some of the ones that I found recently and I'll link those in the description box. But where I live, you can still wear these and I still plan on wearing these for quite some time. And at under $7, they are a fantastic find. Number eight is the only thing from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And as of filming this, there are still quite a few sizes left. It went out of stock for a little bit and then it looks like they quietly restocked. I never got an alert, but it's the Hourglass Denim Blazer. I love the more fitted shape. I have it in a size for, I will say the arms are a little more snug. Of course, we're used to the oversized blazer. This is definitely more of a fitted blazer. If you want that oversized look, just go up a size. If you missed out on that, or you want something similar but less fitted, a few of you pointed out that Banana Republic Factory released a denim blazer as well. Now, when I purchased it, it was well under $100. Today it's showing it more than $100. If you don't want to pull the trigger on its current price point, I would just wait. There's always a sale for Banana Republic Factory and it's every weekend there is something. So usually like 50% off or 40% off. So if you wanna order this, just remember this video or save it or something and come back on a Friday. They have a chambray long blazer. I bought it too and I actually bought the matching kind of denim trouser pants that go with it. I do have to get those hemmed. They run very long. I should have bought the petite. Anyway, to the blazer, it's a more traditional fit in that it's not too snug. There's more room in the arms. I feel like it's a little more functional. It's probably more flattering to a lot more body types. And I do prefer the Banana Republic one because Banana Republic factory, because it can also be worn more like a jacket because it's a little roomier. So it's just personal preference. Currently the Nordstrom version is a better price point, but limited sizing. So I'm giving you both. Number nine of the overall top 10 was this linen flutter sleeve top. It is from Chico's. It is currently on sale and is available in a variety of colors. And I absolutely love linen from Chico's. I think it's one of the things, they do a few things very well and linen pieces are one of them. Just a reminder, I wash mine on cold in the washing machine. I hang mine to dry. Linen can easily shrink. So unless you like doll size clothing, I would keep your linen out of the dryer. 
And then to round up the top 10 are these Time and True cargo pants. Now these are what I shared back in July. I recently shared over on Instagram and on my YouTube community page. If you missed my stuff on Instagram, I'm trying very hard now to also post it on the YouTube community page because I know a lot of you don't want to go over to Instagram. So I'm making it available in all the places. I recently shared just this last week some cargo pants that are also from Walmart from a different uh, line. I believe they're from No Boundaries and I love the wide leg style, but I also really love the Time and True version that I shared in July and apparently y'all love it even more. The Time and True ones, the ones that are on this top 10, also come in quite a few other colors and have far more availability in sizing. So check them both out, but I am with you. I'm loving those Time and True ones. Now let's quickly run through the top 10 from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm just gonna read through them and pop a picture here. Do let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a video sharing similar items, maybe priced around the same, maybe less if I can find them. It's gonna be a little bit because I need to wait for the retailers to actually release their fall stuff. So it might not be till later in August or towards the beginning of September, but if there is some interest in that, let me know. All right. I've got my notes here. So number one was the Hourglass Denim Blazer. Number two was the Barefoot Dreams Lounge Set. Really hoping we can find that another place because it's fantastic. Number three was the Steve Madden Ruched Shirt Dress. There are still some sizes available in a couple of the colors as of filming this video. Number four was the Treasure and Bond V-neck Cashmere Blend Sweater and there are still some sizes available on that one. And I should point out that today is the last day of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So take a look and see what you can still snatch up. Number five is the Nick and Zoe tweed jacket. And there are some sizes on that one left as well. These are all restocked because last I checked, they were all sold out. Uh, number six was the Bobbi Brown Luster and Glow eyeshadow palette. Sadly, that one is still sold out, but I did look around and it seems like Bobbi Brown on her own website and all the retailers that carry that brand um, are phasing out the eyeshadow. So I'm wondering if we're gonna see that pop up in the next few weeks back in stock. Uh, number seven is the Carl Lagerfeld Cap Toe Slip On Sneaker, which is pretty much fully stocked. I'm happy to see. Uh, number eight were the Zella Live-In Pocket Joggers. These are a Nordstrom staple. I am pretty sure they will be fully restocked once the sale is over. Number nine was the Rails Hunter plaid shirt. Of all the ones that I shared, the gray tone one with the star was the best seller that I am specifically talking about. And again, there are still sizes available on that one. And number 10 is the Halogen kind of wrap front pin tuck blouse. And I think there's some sizes available on that one as well. Kind of surprised. Okay, so that was the Nordstrom wrap up. Let's get to accessories. I found some good ones. I should say you found some good ones. So like I said, number one is the barely there sandal. Number two, I love it so much that I put it somewhere and I can't find it. I think it's sitting in my car. The Sojo's polarized kind of double frame sunglasses. Picture should be over there. I love them as much as you do, so much so that I ordered a second pair in all black. There are quite a few colors and they are under $20, which I love. They're also plastic instead of metal frames, so they're really, really lightweight. So for those of you that get headaches from wearing glasses too long, you will probably love these. Number three for accessories is this woven tote, and I just wanted to give you a little tip that my friend Sarah from Hot and Humid gave me. So I wanted to make sure that this and the one on the real version of it, the designer brand, I wanted to get the straps to stretch so I could put it over my shoulder. And she said, just get some heavy books or some hand weights, throw them in here and hang this thing on a doorknob. And I did that and it definitely stretched out the straps on this and the original version. So if you want the longer straps, that's how you do it. Number four are these Dr. Scholl's slip-on sneakers. I have this newest version in a white snakeskin. They're not snakeskin, not at this price point. And I have them in a leopard print as well. And we are planning a trip to Taos, not too far in the near future actually. And these are definitely going in the suitcase. And then the last of the accessories that were your favorites from last month, are these pointed toe cut out booties. These are also from the anniversary sale. These come in three colors, I believe, maybe more, and they are fully stocked still on the Nordstrom website. And let's talk lifestyle and then I'll see y'all later. Number one is the foldable steamer. I love it. Like I have tried a lot of steamers. I hope everyone who purchased this is loving theirs as much as I love mine. Number two is the linen duvet cover. And I have mine in the cornflower blue king size 
and I've had a few questions on how I get it on and off. There is a trick to it. All I can say is go on to YouTube after you finish watching this, go to the search bar and type in how to put on a duvet cover. There are some really good videos that show you so it's not as time consuming as you think it could be. It actually goes pretty quickly. Number three is the Better Homes and Gardens washable runner. And this gets me to some online tips that I should have shared with the overall top 10. I post a lot of Walmart stuff. I'm a Walmart shopper. I do a lot of work with Walmart also, but I've been getting my clothes at Walmart probably longer than any other retailer I've ever mentioned here since I was a kid basically. And a lot of you will say, oh, but that's out of stock. And it's not necessarily. So a tip that I shared over on Instagram and I'll pop in the comment that I got after I shared it with her. Walmart is very much geographically centered. So they have different distribution centers and they will show that something is out of stock if it's not in the nearest distribution center to where you are. And the trick is change the zip code. So when you're searching, pick a store that's still relatively near you, just not in your zip code and see if that works. You might have to change it a few times and more often than not, by changing the store you're searching from, even though you're searching for shipping and not picking up from store, suddenly it's in stock. Just a little tip. It works for some other retailers too, but it very much works for Walmart. So back to that Better Homes and Gardens washable runner. I have it in the runner size. I have it in a five by seven size. It is my favorite washable rug because one, it's one piece. So I don't have to sit and match up the backing to the front. Number two, it is thicker. So it has some weight and substance to it. It feels like a more expensive rug. And I just like the design. It does go in and out of stock depending on where you live. So if you don't see it at first, just keep checking in or change your location. Number four was the Better Homes and Gardens Faux Fur Throw. I'm with you, I love it. I have one on my bed, the dogs love it. And I ordered two more already for holiday gifts. So those are actually supposed to arrive today. Very excited and I'll probably end up ordering a few more. It looks like one of the colors is already sold out, at least where I live. So. Don't wait on this. This is something you're gonna get now and thank me later. And then the last of your favorites from July, 2023, it was interesting. It's one of the things I love and I use every day. They are these um, spiral notebooks. These are hardcover spiral notebooks. They're college ruled. They have a folder in the front. There it is. I love these. I love that it is a small business on Amazon. I should say this more, but yes, Amazon is a massive, huge retailer. There's no debating that, but they also have a lot of small business owners that utilize their supply chain to get their products out to more people. And this company is one of them that is on Amazon. So I love this. They make a lot more than just these notebooks, but this is what y'all loved from Lifestyle Favorites. I do have a new sort of paper supply company that I just recently discovered on my trip to Dallas this month, and it's Joy Creative Shop. And I'm really excited because I, I love their products and I love the price point of their products. You know, usually the custom paper goods stuff can get really pricey and a little out of control. I love that it is relatively local. It's a Texas based company, but they ship online and they ship fast. And I shared it over on Instagram and they reached out to me and asked if I wanted a discount code. And I was like, of course. So for instance, I, in my goodie bag from the luncheon I went to got this notepad it has the days of the week and then a to-do list. I have a new discount code. It's 10% off and it's Marnie 10. They have such cute customizable stationery, note cards, teacher gifts, back to school stuff, stickers, like all the fun stuff, whether you have kids or it's just for you or you wanna get gifts for people. Super excited. Definitely, I actually just placed an order for some more things. So I'll be sharing bits from them probably over on Instagram more, but. I just wanted to let y'all know about it, especially because we're getting into back to school season for many of you. For me, this is the first fall since 2001 that I am not sending someone to school and it is very, very weird. So on that note, we will end this wrap up of what your favorites were from July, 2023. If you purchased any of the things we talked about today, I would love to hear from you, get some feedback. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.